we have to find the magnetic field due to a long straight current carrying wire for this this is the long straight current carrying wire in which current is directed in this direction and for this we have to find the magnetic field at this point p and the distance from p to the current current carrying wire that is perpendicular distance that is this and the arbitrary distance from p to the wire that is this now the total length of the wire is l so this small distance can be written as dl vector and this is r vector that is arbitrary distance and if this point is o then the distance op is taken as a that is a constant now take this angle as theta and this angle between dl and r as phi now the magnetic field due to the dl part will be like b vector that is equal to mu naught by 4 pi integral for total length i dl cross r by r cube here i is this current that is directed in this and now for this the value of dl cross r that is dl cross r vector that equal to dl into r into sin theta or sin phi because phi is the angle between dl and r angle between dl and r that is equal to phi so sin phi that is equal to dl r here phi angle is equal to this theta and this angle 90 so phi is equal to 90 plus theta so you can write this as sin theta plus 90 so that's equal to dl r and sin 90 plus theta is equal to cos theta so we put cos theta there now from this diagram we get that tan theta that's equal to length by a that is length of the wire by a so this length is l from this we get l equal to a tan theta now after differentiating over it we get dl that is equal to a sec square theta d theta now from this also we get that cos theta that's equal to a by this r that is a by r from this r equal to a sec theta now we get the modulus value of b that is mu not by 4 pi from this mu not by 4 pi here i is a constant so it comes out of the integration so i comes out that is i integral dl cross r value of dl cross r we have to put that that is value of dl cross r is dl r cos theta that is dl r cos theta by r cube that is r cube now that's equal to mu not i by 4 pi the value of dl we have to put there that is the value of dl that is a sec square theta d theta just put the value value of r that is a sec theta and remaining this cos theta there so there will be a cos theta by value of r cube that is a cube sec cube theta
now that's equal to mu naught i by 4 pi here this a a and by this a square cancel out so remaining 1 by a so 1 by a there and this x co theta and sec theta makes a q theta and it's cancelled out with this so remaining cos theta only with this d theta that is this here 1 by a is also constant so it comes out integral cos theta d theta now we consider that the current carrying conductor is extended from a to b that is from a to this point b and the angle with this that is theta 1 and this angle is theta 2 so we have to put the limit there here theta u is theta 1 is in the negative direction and theta 2 is the positive direction so the limit will be from minus theta 1 to plus theta 2 so now we can easily integrate this that is mu naught i by 4 pi a the integration of cos theta d theta is sin theta with the limit minus theta 1 to theta 2 that equal to mu naught i by 4 pi a after putting the in limit it will be sin theta 2 plus sin theta 1 thus we get the magnetic field due to a long straight current current carrying wire at a point p here we get the magnitude only